All right. Let's see. Uh, I am bringing you the uh, news about the uh, Call of Duty Ghost. And uh, it is the sixth developed game by uh, Infinity Ward. And uh, it will be released on the uh, PS3, 4, UE, 360, and Xbox One, November 5th, 2013. Also on the uh, Windows platform as well. And, So, uh, with pretty much the ending of the uh, Modern Warfare era and the storyline, the uh, the uh, new uh, sub series with Ghost to uh, concede pretty much with the uh, uh, the eighth uh, launches of uh, the eighth generation console entering the market. The game will be on uh, on an engine built by the de uh, developers, originally described as a new engine, but to be pretty much the same engine used in previous games with significant upgrades. Uh, Raven Software and Never Software will assist Infinity Ward in the uh, development. Uh, let's see, uh, and the uh, the uh, new uh, the new storyline pretty much takes place following a disaster. Uh, disaster event that changes the uh, global balance of power with the uh, US no longer recognized as a superpower and uh, 10 years after that uh, after that event, a band of elite soldiers known as the Ghost wage a covert war against an unseen enemy with the uh, outcome having far reached for both themselves and the remaining remains of America. And uh, the uh, new engine pretty much is uh, going to be built with the uh, new technology like the uh, sub D to have higher resolution, skin shade, uh, multi lightning, and shading, as well as other features. And uh, the uh, dogs. In the game is uh, pretty much your uh, best friend type of deal that they follow you on every single mission. I don't know about the multiplayer yet, but they follow you on every single mission and they have motion cap just like the uh, characters. They're so realistic in all the world pretty much and they're trying to do every realistic thing that they can and uh, we are pretty much going to uh, 
after this uh, little video of me killing people on this game, I'm going to show you some actual game details of the game and talk to you about those and the uh, Uh, I mean, that's mostly all the information I have, but I have, I mean, I really don't know that much about it, but I know somewhat, and to me, it looks like so much better than the, uh, than, uh, Black Ops 2. And, uh, which I will be keeping tabs on the game, and and uh, we're uh, pretty much going to pause this and take a look at the uh what I was talking about the uh actual game characters and dog like features and stuff that they have in there and uh pretty much that's it so uh we're going to just leave this game right here and just go into that and show you what it looks like all right. All right. This is what I was talking about pretty much. This is a view of the Modern Warfare 3. And this is the view of the uh, new Ghost video game with the uh enhanced graphics. Uh the uh, new tech of Sub D uh makes it more realistic, more high resolution, more pixels and stuff on the uh character and this is what I was talking about the uh, skin shading multi lightning and other shadings on the uh, face makes it look realistic looks like a, a real person and uh, here's the uh, dog of Modern Warfare 3 compared to the uh, new dog of the ghost game and you can have so many details, high resolution. It just looks realistic. Here's the uh, motion cap capturing of the dog. And the uh, arms of uh, Modern Warfare 3. They kind of look dull, dull, pale and stuff. And here's a look at the new ones. Uh, you got the uh, visual hair on the arms. The uh, blood bruising on the fingers all the way down to the, uh, pretty much the uh, dirt on the fingernails. So, uh, that's pretty much awesome. And we got a picture of the uh, jungle scene right here. And it looks just so much realistic, so much alive that it, it just looks real. I mean, look at that. I mean, this game is probably going to be the best one of them all, and it is the tenth game that they ever made in the franchise, and I think this tops it off, and that's all.